Good morning, modern steaders. Man, them goats are noisy this morning. It's nice, 34 degrees out again this morning. It's supposed to warm up a little bit today. Blossom. Oh, man. When we go and let the chickens out of New York City, I hope there's not any skunks. Last night, I didn't get to lock the New York City up until 8.30, quarter of nine. We were out with friends again last night. It got a little late. So this morning we're gonna check to see if there's any skunks. What's the matter, girls? Huh? They're like, dude, we want our breakfast. Patience. Patience. Good. You looking for your food? Then where's mine? How's that? Fall is definitely in the air. It's gonna be Halloween before we know it. Yeah. What's everybody being this year for Halloween? Olivia's gonna be a farmer. That's what she decided to be. I hope we don't have any skunks in New York City. That would not be funny. But if we do, we'll take care of them this morning. I would think they have to be hibernating. And if not, they must be getting ready to hibernate with the cold weather we've been having. For a while I was seeing a lot of dead skunks on the roads. I haven't been seeing any lately, so... You done? Did you get every last bit? I think that's good. Come on, you got it all. No, nope. come on, no. Let's go. Pluto doesn't like it when I take care of the goats first. She doesn't get to come out while I'm milking. She likes it better when I feed the chickens and the pigs, then she can come out and run. You girls waiting for your food? Good morning. Now it's time to tell if there's anything in the coop. I don't smell any skunks. Are there any skunks in there, girls? Any skunks? Hope not. The chickens are doing a great job getting in here scratching and dethatching. Believe it or not, there was a lot of moss in with that grass. This field that we're in right now when we bought the property was pretty much a lot of scrub brush. We've mowed it and just ran the chickens through here. I think this was a landing area for when they logged the property. I had some of it logged. Make sure there's no skunks. No skunks. Need some more oyster shells. So it got, the soil got really compacted over here, I believe, when they logged it. But they didn't do a lot of logging, so I don't know why the field's that compacted. I did a good job pecking that. That's a pumpkin. Moose. 
I came in down around this rock wall last week and cleaned it up with the excavator. There was a lot of stumps that I'd left behind before. I'd cleaned up a lot of brush in here. And when we walk across the wall, I didn't take it apart, but I moved some of the bigger rocks down here. So it's easier walking and we're not tripping over tree stumps. Go on, Pluto. I want to wish Reagan, one of the modern setters, a happy belated birthday today. Happy birthday, Reagan. I need to get this table out of here today, and my thoughts are, we'll get one rubber mat here, one here, and we can cut one to fit in front of the sink, and that'll use up one of our mats. And then I'm thinking, we'll have this table and this table pushed together in the center, and we'll have a rubber mat on each side of it. thinking a whole piece going this way and then one going this way but it did it but in my head I was thinking a chunk in front of this a chunk in front of that and then cut a triangle for here but I gotta put this piece in see what it looks like we'll have to figure out how to fix my mistake I know I'm being a little fussy but I'm gonna clean that edge up because we can I make it look like the cut we just did with the saw. That's a nice cup. Right now it makes a mess. Keep it all in one area and we can pick it up after. No. Oh. You wouldn't think these little half inch thick mats would weigh as much as they do, but they do. They're all there. Oh, I wish I was thinking a little bit more. Oh well. All right, so what I'm gonna do is the mats overlap. I'm gonna mark where they overlap. The area that I cut out here will almost be perfect to fill in this triangle. Believe it or not, we'll actually maximize and be able to have more leftover mat by doing it this way versus if I wouldn't if I would have cut it differently. So it's kind of a good thing. 
we'll tell ourselves that. We did it on purpose to maximize all the rubber we have. Cutting this way, I'm cutting with the cords of string. There's cords of string right here, so it's making it cut harder. Where if I'm cutting this way, I'm cutting against the grain basically. Huh. The saw doesn't like going this way. There we go. Nice. It's like putting together a puzzle. Nice. I like it. Alright, let's see if it fits. Not perfect, but it's pretty nice. This is going to be so nice. A little extra mat here if we need one somewhere. And down there. <sighs> our back and our feet are going to thank us for that. I need to thank my brother-in-law for picking up the mats. Let's pick out two pumpkins for the pigs. These ones are monsters. Oh, holy moly. Roll one. See where it goes. Nah. Betcha. These are gonna weigh a good 15, 20 pounds a piece. You guys liking the squash? Ready? Look at that. You girls will love it. Yeah. What? Did you see that? Holy moly. Yeah. I don't know if the goats will eat any of it or not, but let's find out. Huh? I guess they will. We have a compost, we have a composting outhouse that we use when we're outside and if we're doing an event, we have people over, 
basically a composting outhouse is. You have a five gallon bucket that you use wood shavings with. You go number one, you put one scoop on. You go number two, you do two scoops. And then we compost it. Reason why I'm thinking of it. I gotta empty out some buckets. We put it in its own special compost pile. So I have one compost pile right here on the right. That's from the winter pigs last year. That'll be ready for the spring garden. This other one right here, the big one, it's a pile of wood chips that I've been composting for, I think, two, two and a half years. This other one, some of it's from the goats, but a lot of it is from the greenhouse chicken coop. And right here in the pallets, this is our human manure, or what, human manure, whatever they call it. It's composting from our outhouse. We'll not use this on, we won't use this on any gardens. This will be for uh, trees or shrubs. And we'll let it compost for at least a year before we use it. I'd rather use an outhouse that uses the wood chips than a regular out, a, like a porter, John. They smell. These ones don't. I like having it too because if I'm working outside, I gotta go to the bathroom. I don't have to run into the house, take my shoes off, or leave my shoes on and make a mess. We marked our buckets with an orange X so we know they're for the bathroom. Don't use them for anything else. Well, I'm glad we finished up with those outdoor projects when we did. Cold, wet rain. You wanna go out, Pluto? Come on. Hey girl, I was like, no way, it's raining. It's still raining out. That's one of the great things about being on a farm, having farm animals, is it makes you get out in this weather and do stuff. I think the goats probably need some more hay. Oh my. Oh, you pudgy little goat. You pudgy little goat. You want some hay? Yeah. I didn't give you any this morning, did I? I made you work for your food. Now I'm gonna make you work for the hay. If you want it, you gotta go in the rain. Come on. You can stay under cover. They want it. You only gotta get wet for a minute there, Willow. Come on. No. Willow, you're the only one left in. Look at the chickens hiding under the apple tree. Oh, you're coming out. It's nice having the wood stove to come into and warming up by in this weather. <sighs> Gotta heat up some soup that we made the other day for dinner tonight. 
We didn't cook it with the pasta in it because we didn't want it to get real mushy and we, we had it for leftovers. The pasta would be almost like dissolved. So we'll add it and cook it fresh. After watching this clip while I was editing the video, now I'm trying to decide if if it's a good idea to eat soup on camera or not. What kind of messy eaters when it comes to soup? But all right, this is where we're gonna end today's video. Gina's out at a an appointment with a nutritionalist. So thanks guys for watching and coming along on our journey with us, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.